Hey guys, it's Tanya here. Thanks for watching. I'm doing a super, super quick lipstick review for you guys. These are the Model & Co. Party Proof Matte Lipstick Set. You can buy these from Birchbox. Um, I earned enough points to get them for free and the colors just kind of screamed at me so I had to get them. I was already swatching them earlier and they've absolutely stained my hand. I'm loving these. The only thing I would have to say is I wouldn't call these a matte. Um, I wouldn't call these a matte, I would call these a satin finish. They definitely have a little bit of a shine to them. Like a creamy matte slash shine. They do kind of dry down a bit, but not very much, and they're definitely not kiss proof. <laughs> Alex is sitting next to me, still washing my brushes, I mentioned that in my last video. And I said, they're not definitely not kiss proof, and he's like... And then he saw my hand and he was like, nah. Even after all this leg I'm showing? Don't want to kiss that. So we're going to go through them all one by one. The first one is Disco Fever. It looks like it would be a super bright hot orange. I'm kind of glad it wasn't. It's more of a corally orange, like a peachy. It's really beautiful. It's what I'm wearing. I'm going to try the next ones on my lips so you can see just how pigmented these are. Uh, I love the packaging on them. The color on the front, the the bottom here kind of matches the color on the inside, but they have a see-through top, which I really like, because then I can see which one I'm pulling. So the next one I'm going to put on is Peony, and this is the bright hot pink. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch it first so you guys can see it. That's what it looks like. Now watch how pigmented these are. One swipe. On my lips, this one's actually more of like a dusty rose wearable pink. It's not like... It's not neon. It's not like super bright in your face. I actually really kind of like this. It'll be a nice like transition to fall lipstick because it's got kind of almost a berry tone to it. I like that. Peanut Gallery likes it. And then the last one in the set is called Red Velvet and you guys know anything red is right up my alley. This is gorgeous. It's a beautiful bright classic red. It's kind of more blue toned. It's a very deep red, and I like that. It is kind of deep, actually. At the moment, it's um, crooked on your lips, but I like it. It's very crooked on my lips. <laughs> Ignore the horrid application. It's easy throw on and go today. Trust us, she is a professional egg artist. It's not that bad. I'd Turk. Kiss, I'd kiss it. I'm sure you would. It's not that bad. <laughs> anyway, this is Red Velvet. Overall, I would say that two out of the three of these colors are definitely more fall wearable. This kind of more deeper red and then peony, the deeper kind of dusty rose pink. I expected these to be brighter. I'm not sure why, but I'm kind of happy that they weren't because I didn't get them until almost fall. We're heading into September now and they look really nice and I know that I'll get a lot of use out of them heading into fall. So I'm really, really enjoying these. I like the formula. I wore... Um, which one did I wear today? I wore Disco Fever all day today, and I really liked it. It did last, I would say, about three to four hours without drinking. They do leave a nice kind of stain on your lips. I don't know if this one will, because it hasn't been on very long yet. Oh, it looked a little bit. You guys can kind of see it. So it's definitely added some color. They definitely stain the hand, which is how I know they, the darker ones, the red and the peony. When I had peony on, my lips were pretty pink for a while. But, I mean, it's nothing anything, like, it's nothing horrible. It just means that when it wears off, it will still be pretty. It won't look patchy or ugly or whatever. So, that's what I feel about these. If you are not a member of Birchbox, I don't know if you can shop on Birchbox if you're not a member of Birchbox, and I don't know any other place you can get these. But if you are a member of Birchbox, or you're interested in becoming a member of Birchbox, I will link my link down below, and you guys can go check it out. I'm really enjoying Birchbox. I was doing Birchbox Canada and Birchbox United States just for one month to see what the differences were and I'll tell you right now I've already cancelled Birchbox Canada because it doesn't even compare. I will be doing a battle of the boxes in my next video, it's coming up right after this one, and I will explain to you guys why it doesn't compare. Um, but I just wanted to tell you guys, I was doing both and now I'm just doing one and I will give you guys all the reasons for why that is in the next video. If you guys are enjoying these quick kind of just quick reviews, I think I just did another three lipstick, oh no, five lipstick review on the new BH Cosmetics lipsticks. Give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment and let me know that you're liking these kind of shorter videos. I'm glad to do them for you. I kind of like easy swatch videos like this where I can throw them on my lips, show you guys what they are, tell you guys what I think, and then you guys can go and buy it or not. Anyway, it's enough of me rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!
couldn't sense the pain. 